Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, it means the world. Wow, I've just done a really powerful channel message for the masculines and these are their cars. I've literally just turned that off, uploaded it and then this is your message for the feminines and the journey. So, you know, I'm going to go straight into it now. So this is carrying on, okay? I'm just blown away by that message, the power of love. Your masculines are evolving and changing today. So what does this mean for you, Divine Feminine? Thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. Okay, let's do this then. So these are the cards then that we've got for the feminines. So, wow, we've got be also the peacemakers. Be also the peacemakers. That's super powerful because you are peacemakers, feminines. You know, you're forgiving, loving, letting go, releasing, bringing in peace, bringing in harmony. So the angels are saying to you, you are the peacemakers. You are the reason why the masculines come forward. Because when you surrender and be at peace on this journey, you allow it all to flow. We've got ruby red. You will be passionate, protective and prosperous. So they're saying along this journey with your divine masculine, you will be passionate. So you will have moments where you're angry and fiery and, you know, you feel frustrated and oh, you want it now. But you'll also feel that power when you let go and you feel calm and sensual and loving and you just let it all wash over you. The power of the ruby red. When you know the masculines are coming home, ruby red slippers like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz clicking the heels together. There's no place like home. And your masculine knows there's no place like home because home is with you. Home is where their heart is and their heart belongs with you. Home is where their soul is and their soul is split from you. So you're coming together right now. Protective. So you do get protective. You know, it's okay for you to kind of think bad things about your masculine. But if anybody else does it, ooh, the claws come out, you know, because you're protective. You protect what's yours, you protect yourself. Because when you protect your masculine, you're really protecting yourself and prosperous. Which means you know this is growing, there's abundance coming in. It's mighty and powerful. We've got Aphrodite. Soothe your feelings of anxiety, fear and worry because everything will be okay. Super powerful feminines. So this is a message from your masculine saying everything will be okay. And we've just had in that message coming through the promise of communication. Your masculine telling you how they feel for you, that you are their future. So the angels want you to relax right now, to know that everything will be okay and to soothe your feelings of anxiety, fear and worry. So there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to fear. It's 3D illusion. Let it be. Trust in who you are. Remember who you are because you are powerful. You are liquid love. You are source energy. You are stronger than anything because you are the lighthouse. So don't let something knock you down. Remember who you are. You've got the wand here for intention. So wave your magic wand. Divine feminine. Pew, pixie power tarot. You know, pew, pew, pew. Remember the power of who you are. You are the wand. Shine your wand. Shine it brightly, you know. I said pixie power tarot because I do shine that wand around on that channel, okay. So that's the wand. Set your intentions. We've got the feather there for angel protection. It's showing you the power of who you are. You're setting intentions. You know what you want. You've got vision right now. The six raid star unification, love this unification, which means unity, which means coming together, which means you know that you are one, that you were never separated, you were never apart, you are one, you are one soul, okay, one soul split into two bodies, masculine and divine feminine, the sun and the moon, okay, and you know, you could say whichever it is, you know, the moon is connected with the feminines when you're in fear, when you're in anxiety, when you're in illusion. But the sun is connected with you mainly because that's your power. That's where you're strong. You know, you're rejuvenating everything. You are the sun and they are the moon because they are moving from the darkness towards your light. They are having the shadows illuminated within them. 
So these are super powerful. Unification, the six rayed star. And this is your soul star chakra aligning right now. This means that all the power of heaven is coming to you through you. So you're connected with the divine. You've got the horned god, life force. You've got the stag man there. Okay, you are the life force that rejuvenates your twin, that allows these antlers to grow, which turn them into the emperor or the horned god. So this is about your promise of union here, that you're remembering who you are and you've got the number 33 there again for the ascended masters, surrounding you, giving you strength, bringing in power. And we've got the snake there for release to shed the skin of the past, to let things go, to know who you are. Listen to this one. I am the sky. Everything else is just the weather. Wow. I am the sky. You are the sky, divine feminine, the life force. You are the sky. Think how big the sky is right now. Look out the window. Look at that sky. That's you. Everything else is just the weather, wow. So when you're going through the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows and all this energy, it's only weather. It can't affect you because you're the sky and you are vast and you are life force, you are strong. So the next time you go through worry, fear, stress, anxiety, remember what the angels say. Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You are the sky and you are shining brightly. I love that you are the sky. May I be led from the unreal to the real, from darkness to light. Wow. Well, that's what your masculine is going through right now. So if you're feeling this energy, darkness, it's because you're moving towards the light and you're understanding that your masculine is doing this. So much power. May I be led from the unreal to the real. You have to believe it to see it. You have to feel it to know it. So you're going to be led up to your path of union. You're finding your way to union. Remember the series we've done? So you're moving forward now. You're being led by angels to your future, to union. To what seems to be unreal, it's being made real. To what you're intending to be manifest physically. From the 5D realm to the 3D realm, the transition. This is the transition now between the darkness and the light. From the 5D realm towards the 3D realm, you're coming in because you've got fire energy here around you. Fire, fire, fire is related to motivation, to creativity and passion. So again, we've got the passion, the fire that you feel for your masculine for this love, the passion that you have for you and your goals and dreams, your creative energy, your motivation for what you desire. You are forceful, forceful, okay? Your energy is fast, forceful and positive and its power can be frightening. And this is why they're saying forceful. So at times, you can try and force it, okay? But you can't, you have to let it be. So the energy can be frightening because it's fast-paced, it's powerful. The connection is unlike anything you've ever felt. So it's scary at times. It blows you away, it can bring in scary energy. It's frightening because you're like, oh, I've never felt like this before. What's this all about? You know, why am I feeling this way? Even if you've only just met them or even if you've never met them but you can feel them, it's frightening because it's passionate. What's passionate is frightening because it means you have to be vulnerable. You have to give everything and you're giving everything to this love and that's frightening because you think, what if it doesn't turn into anything? What if it isn't real? What if it never comes to pass and I'm alone forever? It's illusion. Ignore the ego and remember what's real you're being moved towards it. You are the sky and everything else is just the weather. Wow. Fire consumes obstacles. So this is you now consuming obstacles, changing them into opportunities. The fire dragons coming in and blowing things away, blasting things out of the way with their fire energy. The burning things up, lower energies, karmic situations, things no longer serving you. They're getting rid of it right now. Fire consumes obstacles to faith and banishes negativity. So any obstacles in the way of your faith 
the the fire dragons are removing your fire energy is removing them right now archangel michael is cutting things away it symbolizes the inner child the spirit within you and the creative spark so your inner child is thriving today shining today because you're tuning into who you are those to whom it is dominant are passionate and intense and if you're a fire sign this is within you all the time you know that's why you're firing and george is a fire sign i was saying to him yesterday you know fire signs are so intense you know and he says it's because we're baby rams it's because you're baby rams so remember if you're a fire sign you're a baby ram that's why your passion's in intense because you know you want to get out of that cage you want to do stuff and if you're any other sign this is your intensity your passion for life for who you are remember that fire is the element of the passions and it gives courage and strength to fight for the quality of life that you deserve so this is you fighting for what you want knowing that you deserve it that you own it that you're ready for what's to come it is the element of physical challenge sensation and sexual energy so anything you're going through anything you're feeling all of these ascension symptoms these physical feelings that can come up as challenges they're helping you to tune in and feel what you feel to be passionate about who you are when fire is out of balance it becomes destructive and needs boundaries and control that's why you know fire signs go so well with each other because you know you're helping each other to kind of keep that fire burning but also goes well with the other signs fire and water fire and air fire and um, earth because earth grounds fire and water puts fire out and air blows it away so all of these connections these beautiful love connections that you were in it helps to bring in power and strength to wash things away to move things out so there's a lot of power coming in and as i'm saying it you know we've got the bin men coming up the street as well emptying the rubbish so things are being removed right now toxic things rubbish moved okay cleanse there's no coincidences during a reading so this lorry right now is taking away the rubbish taking out the trash and that's what you're doing right now and that's what your divine masculine is doing right now you're taking out the trash okay so before i carry on with the journey i'm just going to wait for this lorry to go okay let's wait for it to go away because you know it's noisy so things may get a bit noisy in your head the angels are saying you may overthink things a little bit you may have lots of things going on and you need to calm your mind you need to take time for you you need to move things away that create the noise so if the noise is getting to you the stress the worry the anxiety you have to calm your mind and know that you are safe and that you are well and that all is well in your journey wow okay so let's do the journey then we've got the gates of his heart were flung open wow look at that the gates of his heart were flung open and this is the number one meaning a new beginning something's happening now the gates of your divine masculine their heart are now flung open so the journey is open it's ready it's a new beginning coming in the gates are open how amazing is that the doorway is open the soul walks upon all paths so your soul is walking on your path and your divine masculine's path but you're walking together you may not be physically sharing the same shoes or on the same pathway but you walk in the same walk you're going in the right direction allow happiness to guide you through life's choices so see the happiness in all things happiness is an inside job tune into who you are and stay calm and centered and feel stable so there's a lot of calming energy coming in because you're feeling what's going on you're understanding this journey is real it's evergreen we've got exhilarate and relax eternal youth and happiness is coming to you and when you're a twin flame when you're a strong powerful divine feminine you feel youthful you feel eternal because the journey is eternal 
So it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, everything has fallen into place and it's so beautiful. And the cloak is coming off, the camouflage is coming off. That means the chakras are aligning. You're seeing the truth. The darkness is being removed and the cloak is coming off. And we've got the cat there for independence, for power. We've got cauldron, the womb. There's a rebirth going on. And if you're a same-sex twin flame, watch the reading that I did for this week. It's about rebirth. The womb, the baby being born, it's being manifested. So trust right now that your journey is being manifested. It's being created because you're looking in the mirror and seeing things differently. The perception is changing. You're reflecting each other and you're realizing the truth. The masks are coming off. We've got the phoenix there. They're giving me fear. The phoenix rising from the ashes. The dragon removing obstacles, removing fear. And look at this affirmation. I am enough. I am enough. You are enough for this journey, for your masculine and for who you are. You are enough. You are enough. Do you know how powerful that is when you realise that you are enough and that your masculine is enough and that everything is enough. You don't need more because you are enough. And we've got Uranus coming in here, celestial body, named after God, named after the Greek God of the sky. Uranus is unique to our solar system in that it rotates on its side. It is somewhat appropriate then that this unusual planet and it is an unusual journey that you're on, is associated with eccentricity. Think how eccentric this is, this journey. People think you're crazy, you're going mental. They think you're eccentric because you're a spiritual being, a light worker, because you're not plugged into the matrix anymore. So it's an eccentric planet, an eccentric journey, an eccentric you. Radi radical radicalism okay originality intuition and inventiveness so this is because you're being you you know you're radical you don't care what people think anymore you're doing you this is what your masculine is, is learning has got to learn to unplug from that matrix and you know stop thinking about you know what society says you know to stop thinking about what they should do and follow their desire this is why they are caught between duty and desire, you see, because they're realizing now who they are. Uranus is the planet that rules chaos. I love it. It rules chaos. And what do you go through in this journey? Chaos. What comes in in this journey? Chaos. Why? To shake things up, to move things around and to move you to where you need to be. It's linked to rebellion, anarchy and the unexpected. But it is also linked to freedom, unusual choices and risk. I love this. Thank you, angels. Thank you for guiding me to these amazing cards. Uranus, the energy of risk, the energy of freedom, the energy of changing your life and following your dreams because it's expecting the unexpected and recognizing this change, being rebellious, rebelling from the 3D realm of society and moving towards you. Because you are a spiritual being of light. By drawing this card, you're invited to use the energies of Uranus when practicing magic for fresh beginnings, for spontaneity, for taking risks and stepping into the unknown and for change and reform. Thank you. I love that. And what's going on right now? A new beginning, freedom, taking a risk, all new things coming in, the masculines moving forward moving forward to you, doing the unknown, moving into the unknown. What's the energy of the world right now? The unknown. So this is letting you know that your journey is on the right path. It's where it needs to be. The masculine's hearts are overflowing. The gates of heart are overflowing. They're flung open right now. Things are falling into place. This is powerful. So remember who you are. Stand strong, divine feminines, because your journey is on the right path. It's falling into the place and magic is coming in. So expect amazing change. Trust in the journey. You are loved beyond measure. The angels are with you, supporting you, loving you, guiding you. You've got this because you are a warrior and heaven has got you. Have a beautiful day. Sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon.